Back with another video. Today is Sunday. Don't really have too much to do. Did run to Harbor Freight yesterday. Got some new welding gloves. More for just a personal project I've been working on. Need some new gloves. Just some basic wire. But I guess we're going to be working on the motor today. I have the head gasket, so I guess I'm going to do the head gasket. Have the stuff to do the oil pan gasket. And we got the wing over here that I repainted the other day. You can see it. Clear as day right there. So I might have to repaint the whole thing. But I'm hoping a cut and buff might get me somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. I'm actually going to move this over here. So to start with the oil pan, or to start with the head gasket, we have this layer of texturized it's not dirt but it's more like i don't know it's head gasket material and i always use these fell pros from autozone they're pretty okay i used to work in autozone they're real okay they haven't failed on me yet i've had them on every miata i've built so far they're good enough but the way i like to clean the head gaskets or the head surface is with these little red wither wheels so i'll take one of those and my gun if i can find it right here use the air and I'm gonna clean off the whole head so I'm gonna turn on the compressor I'm gonna put you guys on my head run a little time lapse of that I'm gonna run a little time lapse of that and uh, yeah we'll see how it looks afterwards it always looks pretty good so I'm pretty excited I forgot to mention I hope you guys can hear me make sure you have the pistons down you don't want to nick the pistons or the inside of the wall you want to be very careful when doing this i hope you guys can hear me not gonna lie to you guys the more and more i work on this motor the more i think about the cart it makes me want to do it even better so i think after doing the head, this looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna come back and just give it another quick hit just to get it a little shinier. But I really think at this point, I need to paint the block again. It came out pretty okay, but there's some spots that I don't love like there. So how do I get it to look better? In my opinion, what I'm gonna do is what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the oil pan on, get re seal the whole oil pan up, tape off the motor much better, go get some spray paint from AutoZone, engine block paint, or I might even use, I have flame proof paint somewhere, I can't use trim black, primer, sealer, Is this stuff, wrinkle. I have some of this flame proof, but I think I still might go get actual engine enamel. Just so it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to flip over this motor, put you guys back on my head, and we're going to start working on the oil pan. I'm going to walk you guys through that. Okay, so a lot of people probably do this a different way. I like to use a Quinn, Icon, Snap-on, whatever. And just a little straight edge. You're just going to clean up the gasket mating surface. See how I just scratched it there? You want to try to not do that. It's not the biggest deal though, this is just an oil pan. And then I'm probably gonna take my wizard wheel like I just did, with not as much pressure, just go over places like right here, just so it looks better when the engine's all together. You don't really need to get everything off unless it's really clumped on there. You just wanna really try your best to try to get as much as you can. Always try to keep this blade as flat as possible. See that? It comes right off. If you have it flat, you shouldn't scratch it. It just come right off. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on a little time lapse and I'm gonna start working on this. Next, what we gotta do is basically the same idea for the oil pan. This is probably gonna be a little harder depending on how bad your car is. That's difficult to do with one hand. But we're gonna do the same thing, just clean the whole surface. Feel free to use the wither wheel on all of this as well. It would not matter, because this is steel. 
Or at least I think it's steel. It should be steel. Get my bag up. Oh, it is aluminum. Just be very, very careful. I might not even use the wizard wheel because I just figured that out, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back with you guys. Guys, after a little bit of time, I've got the oil pan, oil pan cleaned up. It looks pretty good. I did spray it out with brake clean. Make sure you do that, especially if you're using the wither wheel, which I ended up going with because it's just too difficult. This will take off the littlest bit of metal, so make sure you brake clean it afterwards. I'm gonna brake clean this now, flip it over, let it drain for like five minutes, then we're gonna flip it back over, wipe it down, start using some RTV. So let's get that going. Oh, and when you're brake cleaning this, try not to hit this rubber as best as you can. Brake clean does break down rubber over time. So I brake cleaned it. Use the brake clean sparingly. You don't need a lot. You can almost even spray it on a rag and just wipe down the surface. That works too. I do want to say, guys, if you don't mind dropping a subscription to the channel, it really helps with, you know, get the videos out there more and gives me more motivation to make cool videos like this. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to throw you guys on my head. I'm going to walk you guys doing some RTV. Once again, guys, I'm sorry about the shameless plug. But it oddly does help with engagement and everything. So you guys just, you know, drop a subscription. I bought RTV. I have no idea where I put it. There it is. So this stuff sucks. I'm going to warn you now. It's good product, but it just sucks to do. If you can get the caulk gun of it, for some reason my stores never sell it. But if you can get the caulk gun version, get that because it will help you. So you got a hole. No, okay, so I gotta chop a hole. I'm gonna try to keep this as little as possible, I'm hoping. For some reason, the tube is like not. That's pretty good. That little hole's pretty good. Take the cap, push it in. Now it's open. Should have a little bit on the end there. Screw this guy on. Some people don't use this. I probably will end up taking it off. I am going to put on gloves just so I don't get this all over me. Once you get RTV on your skin, it goes like into your skin and it takes a couple days for it to get out. Okay, go. Oh, come on. Always use gloves, guys, if you can. My hands are destroyed from years of doing this. I can only imagine how like mechanics every day are. If you can, just buy gloves, wear gloves. I know they're expensive, but I promise you overall, it's gonna be worth it. There we go, just that little bit. So with RTV on oil pans, less is more. You don't need to go that crazy. I know a lot of people think you do. I'm gonna have to make this hole bigger. I need more than that, that's not enough. So now what I'm going to do is throw that pan on, which usually sucks. I'm going to warn you guys, it usually sucks. I'm going to check on our pickup, make sure everything's good there first. Yep, that looks pretty good. A little bit of dirt in it, but that's kind of how it's going to be with this, you know, this much mileage on a motor. It's just going to have a little bit of dirt in it. I cleaned out the pan. That pickup tube always gives me a hard time, I feel like. Oh, it's on! Woo! It looks pretty good, too! So I kept our bolts over here. I am going to go through and try to clean each bolt. So... I don't know if I'm going to throw you guys on a time lapse. Or what I'm going to do. But... I really want this motor to look as good as possible. So, you know, spend a couple minutes, clean up your bolts.
Well, that was easy. You guys saw me go around twice, maybe even three times. I just like to check. I do them hand tight a little bit more than spark plug. These will snap. Be careful. My opinion, no need for Loctite. No need for anything like that. Sorry, I got the hiccups today, guys. Now I'm going to take the wet rag that did have the W or the brake clean on it. I'm just going to wipe this whole pan. Let's make it look better than it already does. You could, this is like, this is the extra that I'm talking about. Everyone's going to do it, but everyone always says less is more. So just try to remember that as you're doing it. Less is more. But hey, if you don't want your oil pan to leak, like I don't, just doing a little bit extra never hurt no one. There's probably some extra in there too. I haven't taken the crank pulley off this motor yet, so don't want to experience that. The only reason I haven't done that, by the way, is just because I don't want to lose the bolts. I'm pretty confident in its ability to come off. This rag's trash. I'm just going to throw it right away. Grab another one. Try to keep the rags as clean as possible. We just don't want any contamination or anything weird like that to happen. I don't know. That's also me being nitpicky. I always hate how RTV looks after it sets too. It always looks so ugly, I feel like. Okay. Now what's next? I'm gonna have to run to AutoZone, get some block paint. Also gonna see if I can get some polish to really get this valve, this uh, oil pan to pop. So, going to run to AutoZone probably. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's go get paint and wax, I guess, or polish if I don't have any in the look real quick, but go get that if I don't. So I did end up filming in the store, guys. It was a little bit tight, but I got everything we need. Got some engine enamel, clear or gray and black for the block. And in case the oil pan doesn't come out how I want, I probably will end up painting it. This thing's idling like dog shit for some reason. Got some brake clean. Keep this thing alive. Some magnet aluminum polish. We'll see how this works out for us. Okay guys, back from AutoZone, showed you what I got. What I'm really thinking, this might not work out the way I want it to, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take this, dip it in the magnet aluminum polish, and see what it could do for our valve cover here. So I'm gonna throw you guys on my head, do a little time lapse, see how we can make that thing look. Here's the before, and the after will be in a couple minutes. Okay guys, so I decided to jump ship a little bit. We're gonna be working on painting the block. The oil pan, I mean, it definitely came out good. You can see I started doing it everywhere. It looks great, but it's a lot of work and it has made me disgusting. So what I'm gonna do now is just basically scuff every surface of this motor that I can find. Get it a little bit better than it was. I'm gonna tape off the bottom of the pan, that way I don't paint that black. I'm gonna shoot the head, or I mean, I'm gonna shoot the block. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done scuffing and have everything taped off ready to go. This reminds me of how much I hate taping things, but it's completely taped off. I'm gonna tape off this oil pressure sensor, but besides that, I'm probably take that nipple off. But besides that, I'm ready to start hitting it with paint. That'll be the next clip you guys see. Okay guys, it's all taped off. I was gonna film me shooting it, but with the camera on my head and the respirator, it's a little hard. So here we go, here's all that. We're gonna shoot it now. The same stuff we're using the last time, VHT engine enamel, flat black. So let's get to that, guys. Okay, guys, I just got it all sprayed. Looks pretty good. Kinda hard to tell on camera. But definitely looks better than it did the last time, which I'm excited about. A couple spots I don't love, but it's also an engine block. The casting will never be perfect, but it looks pretty good. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. i got to keep the respirator on because it's still a little everywhere. 
So I'm going to let this sit for the next two days, probably be back here on Tuesday to take a look at it. And I'll film a clip for you guys then. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a weird one just working on this. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Have a great day, guys.